the beat picks up at the University of Auckland's School of Music. This is a special fundraising concert for the Starship Children's Hospital. But these performers aren't music students. They are medical students using their musical talents for the benefit of children in need. The talented first violinist at the symphony orchestra is David. Originally from South Korea, he's been playing the violin since he was four. A lot of us are, you know, in the medical health science faculty and, you know, we have a love for music and performing. Um, and this year we were thinking of playing at Starship for the children and uh, for the children at Starship Hospital. And um, yeah, we, we got together, that didn't, that didn't work out, so we thought, how about we do a fundraiser and um, raise funds for Starship? And that's what happened, that's how we got down this track. I just think it's really amazing that students that are studying sciences have so much musical talent, it's just unbelievable. And we're just so excited that they went to all this trouble. I think it would have taken a lot of practice and a lot of organisation to put together an event of this size. David's unique style combines both skill and passion for music. He's played in different concert venues and this has made him an experienced violin soloist. Well, you know, music is kind of like my exit bent. Um, stressful medical school day, I come home and play a bit of violin, um, and it's a very good stress relief. Yeah, I, I try to you know, bring, bring pleasure to a lot of other people that, that really appreciate music. David's musical influence comes from his family. With his mother playing piano, and brothers playing string instruments. They almost make up a small orchestra at home. My mum's got a bachelor's in music and she, um, she's a music teacher and we've been brought up in that sort of environment. And yeah, well, my father uh, loves music as well and he sings occasionally. And yeah, as a family, uh, from an early age, we've been playing together in rest homes. All these achievements and background influence point towards a career as a musician. But since he was little, David's been determined to pursue the medical profession. I think the choice was when I was in my childhood. Um, I've always wanted to be a doctor since I was in kindergarten, I think. Um, so it's always been there. And music came after my, my um, interest in medicine. So um, it's always been a big hobby of mine. And, um, companion along the way. David's not the only one who has to balance his passion for music with medical studies. Back at the concert, there's a flute player who was also involved in organizing this charity event. Ahn Kim, also from Korea, can play both piano and flute. I think I started piano when I was um, four years old, so it's been a very long time. I've had breaks in between and things like that. And flute I started when I was uh, um, 10 years old. After choosing a medical career instead of music, Anne soon realized an important part of her was missing. She was trying to draw music back into her life, and the orchestra seemed like the best way to do this. I don't know, it just didn't feel quite right, and I watched the string orchestra play, and I just really miss being part of a group and performing and things like that. So, yeah, it's been really good this year with um, studying of the orchestra and I've joined other groups and um, I'm doing much more practicing. So I took on the um, organizing of the orchestra. So did all the rehearsals, got them together and I was the one who was sending them out with all these emails, trying to get them together and things like that. So, yeah, and I helped with the backstage, actually helping out with the um, organizing of backstage people to um, do things and put cheers on and things like that. Their love for music occasionally clashes with their studies. But both David and Anne manage to strike a sensible balance between the two. I'm sure there'll be time. Um, you know, there's always time to do things that you love doing. And um, I'm sure I'll always find time for doing violin. I guess if I become a doctor, it'll be the same. If I'm busy and stressed out, I'll play a bit of music and 
it's just, um, yeah, I'll just get really calmed down and de-stress myself. And... Events such as this concert prove when music and medicine collide, the result can be surprisingly harmonious. Well, that's all from us at Asia Down Under this week. Don't forget, as usual, you can watch us on the TVNZ On Demand website or on YouTube. Have a great week and we'll see you soon. This program is made with funding from New Zealand On Air.